Hello guys and welcome to another Unity tutorial. Today we will have a look at how we create this stunning glow effect. So without further ado, let's get started. Download the MK Glow free from the Unity Asset Store. It's written by Michael Tremel and it's one of my favorite tools. Let's start with an empty 2D scene. I've imported the MK Glow and uh, that's it. So let's start by creating a sprite. Create and sprite and square. Hit enter and drag the square to the hierarchy window. We can scale it a little and maybe we should also change the background color to black. Now we can drag the MK Glow script to the camera. And you find that under MK Glow Free scripts and MK Glow. Drag it to the main camera. And here we have some uh, thresholds and scattering and intensity settings. Start by dragging the threshold a little bit down so you will have a nice effect. And now you can adjust the scattering and the intensity. And uh, don't go too crazy on this one. Okay, now we have to make a material for the sprite. Right click, create a uh, material. And we should call it something like sprite material and drag it to the sprite. But wait, something bad happened. Now go to the sprite and select MK, Glow, Luminance and Sprites and Default. Away, we got our glow back. Now we can adjust the tint and give it a nice color, something like almost almost white. Now we can change the emission color as well. This is really good to fine tune the glow. And it could be something something like this. Looks pretty cool to me. Now let's make some glow in a 3D game. We will start with a scene with two cubes and uh, the MK Glow Free imported. Let's go for it. It's actually the same procedure as in the 2D game. We will find the MK Glow script and drag it to the camera. And again, we have to adjust the threshold and then the scattering and intensity. Now let's see, maybe something like this looks cool. All right. Now let's make the first cube glow. We do that by creating a new material and we could rename that to cube one material and add it to the cube. Drag the material to the inspector and let's go for and change the color. We will like make a nice green glow this time. Let's change the emission as well. Click on the HDR button and let's make a really nice glow in box. It could be something like something like this. Looking good. Now let's go for some more advanced stuff for the second cube. Why not make a glowing logo? And again, create a new material and call it for cube two material and drag it to the second cube. Open the shader and click on the albedo and select a bitmap. In this case, it will be the Oxmon X. And now let's turn it into some nice orange color. Do the same thing for the emission. Select the same bitmap and now fine tune the HDR settings and we can make a real nice warm glow. It could be something like this. Yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. We upload new tutorials every day, so stay tuned.